Three Gorge Dam Collapse Simulation. Hey there everyone, welcome back. So there was a video release of a simulation showing what would happen if the Three Gorges Dam ends up collapsing. The Three Gorge Dam is 182 meters high and is 2,355 meters wide and holds 39.3 billion cubic meters of water. And when the Three Gorge Dam actually explodes or collapses, there's going to be a 100 meter giant wave that's going to go down a column and there's actually mountains at first, so it just funnels the water, so it actually is going to be really dramatic and enormous. It flows at a terrifying speed of 100 kilometers per hour. That's crazy. It is 50 kilometers from Three Gorge Dam to Yi Chang, and within a half hour, it destroys the Gizabo Dam and covers the city center of Yi Chang. That's insane. So within a half hour of this dam collapsing, it's going to hit and collapse another dam, and then it's going to hit Yi Chang. The height of the flood is 20 meters, and the speed is 70 kilometers per hour. Holy smokes! It says five hours later, Yi Chang's water level is 10 meters, and the city is completely submerged. Let's just take a stop and realize for a second that this this image is a whole entire city, and when this dam collapses, because they built the city below the dam, that it's basically going to submerge the whole entire city, as you can see in these images. That is intense. Later, the water flood to the large and small cities around the Yangtze River with water speed of 60 kilometers per hour. That's impressive. The waves are 15 to 20 meters high. A 20 meter high wave is pretty much 65 feet high. That is really intense. As you can see in this image, this, this surfer's surfing a 20 meter wave. And here in retrospect, here's another image showing how high a 20 meter wave or 30 meter wave could be to a car, a person, a house, and a building. That image right there just shows you how powerful Mother Nature and water can be and how intense this is going to be if the Three Gorge Dam ever collapses. The flood is going to a widespread of plains. From this point, the area of damage increases as the flood spreads to a sector form everywhere. As you can see that there's buildings across, the dispersing flood is speed is reduced to 25 kilometers per hour and the height is reduced to 8 meters. And that's what's insane is that people build dams, man builds dams, and then people build houses and towns and cities below the dams. And if that dam ever collapses, what do you expect is going to happen? And there's going to be floodwaters all throughout and there's going to be cities and towns throughout the bottom of the Three Gorges Dam and all the other dams that collapse that are just going to impact and affect millions and millions of people. People. However, the mainstream of the Yangtze River still maintains a speed of 35 kilometers per hour. The floods hit Zhengzhou and directly go to Wuhan. It's 350 kilometers from Three Gorges down to Yanghang and it takes five hours to get here. So just imagine hearing on the news that the dam collapsed and you got five hours to pretty much gather all your stuff and hit the high road. When the mountain range is filled with the water, the peaks turn into islands. Damn! Dongting Lake is right next to Yangyang, and the dry season it would act as a buffer, but not now. The city of Yangyang is submerged by the depth of 5 meters of water. So if this ever does happen, I guess the people that live in the local area is have a couple hours just to get out of there. They just have to get quickly out of there and get to high ground. And even like some of the mountain ranges are going to fill up to the point where the peaks are just going to be little islands. It will pass the Tongan Lake with a storage capacity of 16 billion cubic meters. Whew. It takes about 10 hours from Three Gorges Dam to Wuhan. Wuhan is 18 to 40 meters above the sea level and floods submerge the area 7 meters above sea level. The impact from the Three Gorges Dam collapsing would just be devastating. Like just, oh, I couldn't even imagine. But 5 meters of water depth will submerge in other parts of Wuhan. Dang, that's a lot. When the flood reaches the Wuhan, the surrounding terrain becomes suddenly narrow. Making it difficult for the water to disperse. Even at 5 meters, that's still 15 feet. 15 hours after the collapse of the Three Gorges Dam, water will arrive at Xinjiang, which is a thousand kilometers away. Like that just shows you the power of water. Don't ever underestimate the power of water. The storage capacity of the Pion Lake is 30 billion cubic meters, but it's not the dry season right now. So it can't mitigate the impact of the flood. The waters keep running. Water eventually floods a huge area of cropland. Which means in return that there will be barely any food for anyone to eat because the crops are going to be impacted by the floods. 24 hours after the dam collapsed, the water arrives in Nanjing at 1500 kilometer distance from Three Gorges Dam. 
When the flood reaches Nanjing, the disaster is basically over. But when rainy season hits, it's supposed to get actually worse. This Three Gorges Dam collapse simulation video is causing considerable waves in China. Because in China, describing collapse of the Three Gorges Dam belongs to the taboo. That's right, because in China, everything is really controlled and how they believe in things. And they don't believe that the Three Gorges Dam is actually going to collapse. They think it's just all a bunch of publicity being put out there. Uh, the Chinese government is actually even, even the news is saying that the floods that we're seeing, uh, the videos and stuff, is actually uh, made out to be a lot worse than it is. They're saying that it's 43% less than it was actually previous seasons the flooding so does that mean that the flooding before was actually worse or are they just stating this and lying and the flooding now is worse or I don't know let me know in the comments below what you think this video appears to have been produced by an expert but is not yet known who made the video but this video shows the area of each city the population density of the resident population and the depth of the water when flooded so it honestly wouldn't surprise me if the dam actually collapses the Chinese government lies about a lot of things but that's just my own honest opinion you know like COVID they try to keep secret for a long time and they even like release dam water and don't even tell their own citizens like heads up we're gonna release some dam water to release the pressure on the dam they just do it and flood them out anyways and over a hundred Chinese rivers have exceeded warning levels in all of its nine spillways to discharge the flood water, the first time since the reservoir was built in the 1940s. Chinese media reports that the amount of rain this summer hasn't been seen in decades. In Hubei province alone, the amount of rain in June equals half of the water volume of China's biggest lake. Called the flood control situation not optimistic, the ongoing flood is adding one more test to the ruling Communist Party. See my point exactly. There's all these videos circulating of them actually releasing dam water and then all their cities and everything being towns and being flooded. And they're saying it's just because of the rainstorms and the torrential downpour, which I believe that some of it is because of the rain and like, yeah, you know, that's going to obviously cause some flooding. But if the dam has water, you know, the level reaching up to the point of being, you know, the dam's going to collapse, they're going to release the flood water and relieve the pressure, which they've been doing. And unfortunately, they just haven't been warning the people downstream because uh, they, you know, they, the water ended up raining so much that they just were like not ready for it. So they just ended up releasing it and it impacted all the cities and towns. And now the dam uh, is on the verge of collapse that people are saying this is similar video was produced to basically warn everyone this is what's going to happen if it does happen and eventually it probably will happen so this is going to be very interesting uh, to see what's going to happen in the future let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below on what do you think do you think the three gorgeous dam is actually going to collapse do you think this is just all a bunch of propaganda bs or is it real also like this video share it with everyone and uh, also click that subscribe button down below there Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay safe. God bless you all. Take care and peace out. Snoochie <laughs> Boochies Jumper.